Stop racism. Stop hate. Stop critical race theory. America is said to be the only country where a group once held in bondage rose to the top of the country where they were marginalized. Thus, the 2008 presidential election was thought to be a seminal moment in American history, a testament to a country that overcame its sordid past. Critical race theory, however, dismisses America's evolution, as well as the many other achievements of blacks in America. Critical race theory began as critical theory, a theory birthed by communist academics. Sometime later, the students of critical theory added race with the understanding that racializing an issue made it easier for an apologetic public to accept. Critical race theory insists that America is racist at an institutional level and that race impacts every aspect of a person's life from cradle to grave. To accept critical race theory, one must believe that by virtue of birthright, a white person possesses an advantage in life and an almost guaranteed success. And by contrast, a black American is doomed to failure from birth. To accept critical race theory, one must believe that millions of successful blacks in America did not achieve success on their own. This insult to blacks is bolstered by an advocate of critical theory. Derek Bell suggests that successful blacks are passing as white. Partisans of critical race theory, like Bell, choose to ignore the achievements of black Americans and depict successful blacks as sellouts. This distorted view of successful blacks by proponents of critical race theory is no surprise because they believe the value of working to achieve one's dream is a myth. Supporters of critical race theory have deemed things like hard work, punctuality, even cordiality as racist. Ironically, supporters of critical race theory condone obvious racism. Critical race theory sympathizer Ibram Kendi said, the only remedy to racist discrimination is anti-racist discrimination. He then added, the only remedy to past discrimination is present discrimination. How did we allow such a hateful doctrine to become part of our national fabric? Despite America's history of racism and oppression of black Americans, the country moved steadfastly towards freedom for all over the past 200 plus years. In that time, blacks emerged from slavery to add to the rich mosaic of American culture. Today, critical race theory's distorted view of America is being taught in schools across the country. Children are learning to see themselves as either victims or oppressors and they are being told that for many of them, the American dream is out of reach just by virtue of the color of their skin. It is not too late to stop race politics in the classroom and to keep America's promise alive. Learn how at goldwaterinstitute.org.